are sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how we can get some output, some sound coming out of the audio jack here on the Maker Pie Pico. Uh, so all we need is obviously the Pico and the, uh, the bass here. And uh, I have a computer speakers plugged into this jack here. And we're going to be using uh, GP18 on the script. And we're going to play this using GP21 button here. Now we can change it to do any of these other buttons. Or we can hook up a button coming out of here if we want. We would just have to change the uh, GPIO number. So I have my speakers plugged in. I have my uh, Pico plugged into the computer. I got Thony up, and we're going to need Circuit Pi on the uh, Pico. Now, if you don't have that, kind of look like this when you have it plugged into the computer here. Uh, I'm going to upload that file to my website f for this information that you can download it if you need it. But uh, I have my MP3 file that we're going to use here. Obviously, as you can see, it's only 128 KB, which it needs to be small because we don't have room, very much room. So that's the file we're going to be playing. It's like 30 seconds long. Here is the script that we'll be using. Now I'm going to change this around a little bit, but uh, no big deal. It'll look kind of the way it is now so <clears throat> if you're going to play a different file we'll need to update that file name right here dot mp3 and like i said we'll be using gp18 and the button gp20 now if you want to update that you can if you're using a different but button to make this play and back to this real quick. Uh, you'll want to copy the MP3 to the root directory of your Pico. So just drag and drop it right in there. So anyway, we have it here. And all we need to do is click play here on the Pico. So right now, the script is running. It's just waiting for me to click the GP20 button here. And as you can hear, <coughs> we got some uh, noise coming out. We got audio playing. So if you hit the button again, it will start it over. And we can hit it again and again if we want. So we'll just stop it there. And as you can see, it's printing out some information down here that it's playing. So every time this shows, I hit the button. So I hit the button four times. So that's pretty much it. Something simple for the Maker Pie Pico uh, base if you have it. This is a nice little board to get used to the Pico and play around. So I thought I would share this. <clears throat> so uh, hopefully this kind of helps out. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.